guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, you join me just as I'm about to do a filter clean on the Easy Pod, so um, I'll get to that in a second. First of all, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers that have just joined the channel. Hello and welcome. Hope you enjoy uh, being part of the channel and helping it grow. So thank you and hope you can stick around. And if you like the video, great if you could give it a thumbs up anyway let me spin you around and we'll go over to the easy pod and I'll show you how I get set up with that cheers guys catch you in a minute so first things first take the lid off it see what crap the fish have created not too bad so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pump off. Let the water level come up until it equalises in the two. Bad at all, actually. I'm surprised. I've uh, I've gone back to Saki Akari, and the waste you get with it is a quarter of the amount of the next best food, and that's no joke. So I'm just going to turn on the EA 70 liters per minute just to give the easy pot a boil for about 10-15 minutes and then drop it and then set it off on its way again away. It looks a lot dirtier on the camera. It isn't actually that bad. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is, not with that because that is yesterday's, I'm going to get a water sample. Oh, that water's warm. It's my water sample. Let's see what the temperature is. Twenty-two point six. Not too bad. Right, let me get set up for the water test and I'll give you a look at what I've been doing throughout my day off and I'll come back to you at the end. Cheers guys.
bit too big.
There we go, spin drifters in place and glued. Silicon round the skimmer, once it goes off I'll just take a Stanley and clean off round about the skimmer. Um, turns are absolutely slapped with silicon. Should be fine. That's the bottom drain all plumbed in, connected up to the air supply. Still got to connect the bottom drain to the filter, but that's what I'm working on now. I'll take you inside and show you. Sorry about the noise. I've got easy pod cleaning and I need to sort of rattle on that shelf. I've moved the air pump from down here to up there because obviously it needs to be above pond level and the height of the pond is roughly about there, thereabouts, so as long as the air pumps up above that it should be fine. Um, in my rush to get the airline done, I went and put that pipe through there, put it there so that it's just going to connect on to the, sorry, connect on to the air pump and I went and forgot about the, the one inch ball valve so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that in there and then fit that valve there just in case I've got it, I might as well use it um, so I'm just about to start swapping the propy drum from pump fed swapping it round to gravity so the holes are already here just need to move the, the, uh, the probes and the LPP switch sensor or LLP even low level protection um, and open up the front of the switch box there's little switches I think it's one down, two and three up, and four down, or one or the other, I can't remember which way around it is. Um, but I just have to swap switches and put the probes in this side. Easy. Get back to you once I've done that. There we go. Got the probes moved from there, over here. Know the state of the drum, it's all gonna be PP'd when it's up and running. I'm gonna give everything a good soaking PP, just let it run for a few days. Yuck! Yeah, so that's done now. Into the switch box to swap the controls around. I'll show you what I'm doing when I get to it. Cheers. So there we go. I'll try and show you the tiny, tiny little switch. That switch there. So for pump fed, it is one up, two, three, four down. And for gravity, it is one down, two up, three, four down. Simple. That's honestly how easy it is to change from gravity to pump. You just switch a switch and move the probes to the other side of the drum. Um, and got this wire here, the, the, the flow switch to connect in. It just goes where that red loop is there, in like that, once the drum's set up. Uh, once it, once I've given it a run test and make sure everything's flowing properly and the right height, uh, I get the probes at the right height and then I'll set the LP switch to the right height and plug that in, and that'll just stop the pump from running dry. If it gets down below the sensor inside, it just shuts off until there's enough water to create the circuit again. Right, I'll get the cover back on it just now and 
I'll get back to you when I get onto something else. Just getting the threads PTFE taped, ready for the unions. Two inch split unions, just in case. Um, There we go, Bosch, ready to go, there'll be no leaks, uh, I'm just configuring some pipe work, so this is going to be water that it'll come down out of the drum, into the 20,000 EA very pump, into here, split to here, straight through to here, and then split to here for three returns. I'll have the one that's straight through, which will be pulling the most, well pushing the most, will be for the shower, because that'll be in the middle of the pond, so it's the middle valve. This one is the nearest return. Um, well, sorry, the the <laughs> it's um, it'll be the furthest away valve, but the nearest the left-hand side return, and then this one will be the for the heater through the the right-hand side return. Just got to cut the bits of pipe, thirty-five centimeters, twenty-seven and twenty-two, and then hopefully. everything should go well I'll get back to you once I've cut the pipe and there we have it slightly different than I'd planned because I made a mistake I was supposed to put I glued this bit first um, and then I was supposed to glue this T to the top of that one and I stupidly glued it uh, in the wrong place so I've just made a little adjustment but it'll work fine so this one that comes the pumps gonna be sitting right here so it's gonna be going straight to the shower and then that one to the heater or no, no actually that one will go to the furthest away return uh, and this one will go to the nearest return obviously I want the most power going to the shower um, second to the other return and the last one going through the heater because the heater it doesn't really have to push that much to activate the heater I would rather have higher flow through the backy shower higher flow through the first turn and through the heater I think as long as I'm getting maybe three four thousand litres per hour it's enough to keep the heater going we'll see anyway it's all ball valved anyway so I can tinker it give it a slight adjustment until I get it right but yeah right then
I'll catch you when I've got some more done. Thanks guys. There we go. There's the bottom drain line. Going straight out. And now I've just got to go outside and fit a rubber boot on it. Hey, I am going to fit the the solvent weld um, and pressure pipe there. I just want to make sure I've got my levels right before I start uh, welding, solvent welding anything together. Saves me cutting pipe again. I'll cut you outside to show you the other half. Well that's it for another week guys, hope you enjoyed that, um, it's almost there, I just need some volunteers for the window, um, I've got a couple of mates at work that are going to try and help me, it's just trying to get the time off uh, when we're all sort of off together, because kind of when I'm working somebody's off and when I'm off they're working so it's, it's just trying to get a day when there's three of us off together and hopefully the end of this week's uh, well sorry it'll be a week from today hopefully somebody's gonna help me fit the window so that'll be a video to watch out for in future and I'll continue on with the pipe work next week and show you the outside half of the pipe work I've showed you the inside, in fact let me spin you around because I've done a bit more and then I'll say bye so there we go got the 4 inch drain coming in and 4 inch skimmer just need to drill a hole through there with a the hole saw 4 inch hole saw and that'll go to the skimmer out there uh, yeah, and just got that set up underneath there just now, and I've got one of the returns just propped up under there. That's the, the nearest return outside there, so that's going to go on to the middle one there, and then the furthest away one's going to be the shower because that goes straight on to the pump. That's perfect. So on that note guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching and thanks to all the new subscribers, much appreciated um, and also to watch out for my next video because there's going to be a giveaway announcement and if you're building a pond, redoing a pond or you fancy adding something that I'm going to be giving away to your pond then definitely don't want to miss that one and on that note guys I will catch you all next week and until then stay safe take care J Matt Coy out